So the more and more I start to see photorealistic games being developed, mainly in Unreal Engine 5, but today I bring you a game that was made in Unity. Now don't let Unity throw you off, because as you can see, that this game looks absolutely fantastic. Now if I'm not mistaken, this game is also made by one single developer. Like for real, this game is so good that TinyBuild, the company, the studio that made Hello Neighbor, and totally reliable delivery and everything like that in Graveyard Keeper has reached out to the developer to get their hands on this. And by this I mean the game's name, Project Ferocious. It is in the description as well as the Steam link, so go and check it out, you will not be disappointed. Now let me tell you about Project Ferocious before you click off the video. In Project Ferocious, your adventure begins with a shipwreck in the Pacific Ocean, and you wake up on the shores of a deadly island. As one of the few survivors, you must navigate deadly encounters with prehistoric creatures and armed mercenaries. Now you have to uncover the dark truth hidden within this island as you fight for survival, explore treacherous terrains and unveil the secrets lurking within Project Ferocious. 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 Now this game reminds me a lot about Jurassic Park in some way because there's a lot of dinosaurs and you know, prehistoric creatures roaming around in this island and like it's like King Kong almost. And this gives me a very big Far Cry 2-ish vibe and a Far Cry 1 vibe as well as a Crisis vibe. So the best of everything is put into this game. Now the developer is also handcrafting and 3D scanning most of the assets in the game, like 99% of everything. So you can't expect to find some asset that's in another game as well because nothing is asset flipped in this game. And what the trailers we're seeing is in-game gameplay footage, it's gameplay trailers I'm showing you and it looks so freaking good man, I don't understand why single developers are able to make this amazing games but huge companies like Ubisoft and everything still struggles to come, you know, get with it and TinyBold getting the hands on this as well to help this developer out is one of the best moves TinyBold will ever take in their career. Now this game describes itself as fight, explore and survive. Ferocious is a first person shooter that combines the sense of wonder of exploring a mysterious prehistoric island with over the top action gameplay. And with the gameplay trailers we're looking at, you can see that that isn't false advertisement whatsoever. I hope they have some sort of like a tactical, like how can I say, idea with the gunplay implemented into this game or just making it extra satisfying to kill some mercenaries and shoot down dinosaurs. I mean, imagine you can like loot the dinosaurs, like make leather armor or something like that. That would have been so cool if they add that like Far Cry hunting style feature to this game. That would be so cool. So if the developer is watching this, I really hope you guys have some type of like a survival feature to the game. I'm sure you will have. It's a prehistoric island you're supposed to survive on. Fight, explore and survive. So I'm sure you will be doing that, so I, I won't tell you what to do because you seem to know what you're doing already. So for everyone that is new on this channel, I'm Slavnik, I talk about all of the new upcoming games and good games that's already released and nobody knows about. So if you guys are into that, please subscribe, if you're not, it's fine, as long as you just like the video and of course comment down below why you didn't want to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video, like usual.